Phosphodot friends, Earl at thelogbook.com. We're back in the arcade. We're back in 1980, baby. And we are playing Balloon Bomber by Taito, the same outfit that brought us Space Invaders, among other games. And this is kind of an, an interesting twist on that. But it brings some, some interesting twists of its own that may harken back a little bit to Tank Battalion, if you remember when we played that. That uh, it now has me questioning who got there first. So, let's get started on a game here. It's a very simple shoot 'em up Oh. Oh, as you can see, my movement is now extremely limited because if a bomb manages to hit the ground, it creates a crater. And you cannot, your cannon cannot go past that crater. As you can see, you can intercept incoming ordnance, but when you're hemmed into as tight a space as I am right now and getting tighter by the second, It's, it doesn't do you much good. Yeah, we're supposed to let it end. When you start a new life, you start with a clean slate as far as... As far as the ground goes, so it's not cratered. You are not... Shall we say, uh, paying for your past sins in the game. Or, or your past errors. Ouch. Game over. Well, that was short and sweet. Let's give it another shot here. See what happens. Oof. Oh no. Okay, so I'm now effectively down to half the screen. Fortunately, you can also, uh, It's an unforgiving little game. I'm not sure if you notice this, aside from the jaunty little tune that it's playing, all the sound effects are straight out of Space Invaders. ship sound. Oh, okay, that's for intercepting incoming fire. Okay, I'm now once again down to half the screen. It's not getting any easier. Well, now, you guys can drop bombs over there all you like. Because I already can't go over there. Okay, now I'm really... Now I'm really in a jam. I'm down to maybe a quarter, more like a fifth of the screen to travel. And here comes another wave, even lower than the last. Oh, oh no. Oh wow, they're dropping cluster bombs. Okay, I can't... Oh, okay. The cluster bombs have... They have diagonal travel. 
Oh dear. I suppose I could take out the plane, can I? I wonder if I can. Ah! Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. I wonder if I can take out the plane, sort of like the, the Space Invaders Mothership. Oh, 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 now this sucks. No, the plane is unreachable. And so is any kind of survival for me because I'm marooned on this tiny island. <laughs> kind of surprised I managed to. Uh... Oh, I was about to die there. I was about to die there. And I'm still about to die there. This is a fiendish little game. Uh, the innovation that I'm referring to that I'm wondering. If this game got there before Tank Battalion did, is that you have the malleable playing field. You have the bombs that the enemy drops on you change the playing field, and they limit your movement quite drastically in some cases. And, you know, and eventually that will contribute to you exploding and losing that life. So I, I don't know if this was released first or Tank Battalion. Both of them are games in 1980. But it's very intriguing kind of watching things that we now take for granted. You know, we have massive game worlds now where we have enough computer power to keep track of changes to that world. And that started with simple things like craters on the ground limiting your movement and the game having enough of its own computer power to track that for the duration of a short game. 